all right now question number nine of this paper four and let's start the points a b c d lie on a circle now whenever you are solving questions for circle you should know the 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 rules for the circles okay make sure you you are you have gone through them in your books okay before answering these questions a c is a diameter of the circle okay this line is a diameter it means it is passing through the middle of the circle okay and then these two halves will be the radius st is the tangent to the circle at a this is the tangent and we know from the rules that if there is a tangent on a circle and then there is a radius or a diameter and both of them are at the same point then the angle which forms is 90 degrees angle okay so this is uh, let me just do it again so this is the 90 degrees if this is 90 degrees and then the other half is also 90 degrees okay this hole is a 90 degree angle and this is a 90 degree angle okay both of them now find the value of x these angles uh, I'm sure you 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 you, sh uh, you have known these and this is the angle on the segment of his of the circle are equal how do we know because this angle starts from B and it ends at C right and what about this angle this angle starts from B and ends at C again so both of them starting at B and ending at C it means they have to be equal so if this is X then this is x okay so if you find this we will find this one all right so this one is now very easy because this whole thing is 90 out of 90 if we take out the 48 we will be left with this one and 90 minus 48 is 42 okay so we got the first two marks this is 42 okay you can write here 90 minus 40 sorry 48 okay 42 degrees now part 2 is we have to find y okay now this is again uh, I think it's a simple one this whole triangle angles in the triangle add up to 180 we know the this angle and this angle and what we don't know is this angle why I'm looking for this angle because the opposite angles are equal when there is when it forms an X okay whenever it forms an X if this is a then this is a and if this is B then this is B okay so this is Y then this is Y so if you find this one we'll get okay and so the out of the whole 180 if I take out this one and this one which is 27 and 42 I will get this one okay so it will be 180 minus 42 and 27 it will be 180 because that's the whole out of the whole I will take out 42 and I will take out 27 I will be remain with the the the, uh, the remaining one which is 111 okay 111 degrees now le let's move on to part B the diagram shows a shaded shape formed by three semicircles arcs okay the radius of each semicircle is shown in the diagram so these are the radius this is for the largest one this is for the the middle one the mid size one and this is for the smallest one okay calculate the parameter of the shaded shape whenever they say parameter and it's to do with circles this parameter for the circle is its circumference okay circumference and what is the formula of circumference is 2 pi r okay or we can in uh, sometimes it is written as pi d pi into diameter or pi 2 pi into radius now here we do not have a this is for the full circle okay this is for the full circle but do we have a full circle no we have three semicircles we have three semicircles and semicircles mean half so if we divide this formula by half 
what will happen is this we will be we will be left with only pi times r okay so for this shape to find the parameter we will use the formula pi r of the three circles okay so let's start with the largest one this whole parameter from here all the way till here okay this will be pi r which is pi times 6 okay this is the first one and let me go to the mid size one which is down here from here all the way till here okay it is pi and its radius is 4 now let me have a look at the smallest one here all the way from here till here so that we, we will complete the shape now okay so this one here is pi times its radius which is 2 okay and the answer will be 37.699.699 and we will round our answers to three significant figures which is 37.7 okay now let's see the next part which is part 2 the shaded shape is made from metal 1.6 millimeter thick calculate the volume of the metal used to make this shape give your answers in cubic millimeters in cubic millimeters and remember we found our answers or the or the the values which are given in this one here they are in centimeters and we want them in millimeters to convert centimeter into millimeter we have to to convert centimeter into millimeter we have to times it by 100 okay we always multiply when we go to the smaller value which is millimeter okay now remember for a rule whenever you want to find the volume whenever you wa want to find the volume always take the area and multiply whatever the length you are given okay in this case this is the length and area we have to find the area so length is given area is not given we have to find the area okay and to find the area of a circle what is the formula it is pi r squared okay this is what we are going to use but again this this is for the whole circle do we have a whole circle no we have three semicircles okay so let's start with the largest one first again you might want to pause this video and try it for yourself because there is a little bit trick there okay so the first one is uh, pi r squared the first one was six times oh sorry it's not the pi it's six will come after the pi so it's pi times six squared okay but this one will be divided by two why divided by two because it's a semicircle or what we can do is take every value and add, add all the values and divide it by two after we get the answer because it's exactly the same thing okay that's what I'm going to do second one was pi r which is 4 squared okay now the trick can you see the shaded shape okay this is we want the whole thing this under part we want the whole thing this me medium size semicircle and this so to get the area we will we will have this one right so we'll get this area which which you, which is good we just want the shaded area now for this one if I calculate this one pi times 6 squared I will get this whole area but hello do we want this whole area no we do not want this for this 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 region we do not want this region so we have to deduct this region okay we have to deduct this region because this region is not shaded so if we get if we find the semicircle area of for using 6 I will include this region but I have to deduct this region to get just the shaded one and how I'm going to do that is just deduct this region's area and this is another semicircle with radius 2 okay so I'm going to deduct it this was a trick I was talking about 
So it will be minus pi times 2 squared, okay? And when you do this in your calculator, and remember, you have to divide the whole thing by 2 because these formulas are for the whole circle, but we do not have a whole circle. All we have is a semicircle, okay? Now, when you do this on your calculator and divide by 2, you will get 75.398 and so on. And we should round this, this to three significant figures, right? No! Why not? Because the examiner says your final answers should be rounded to three significant figures, not the ones in between, okay? So it's, it's, it is always a good idea to keep this value in your calculator, okay? Just keep this value in your calculator. Do not round it off because we have to round the final values, okay? Not the in-between ones, okay? So, but oh, okay now, after we got this, we have to multiply it by 100 to change it from centimeter to millimeter because these values are still in centimeter. So we have to multiply it by 100. Keep the answer in the calculator. Just write times answer times 100 and you will get 7539.82. 7539.82. And so on, and then uh, we have got our answers in, uh, in millimeters this time, right? And what we now we found the area. This is the area. We found the area. Finally, after a long time, and to I mean what I said before, multiply the area with the length, which is 1.6 millimeter. That is already in millimeter, which is a good news, and keep the answers on the calculator just press multiply times 1.6 and you will get 12063 now this answer um, can be rounded to three significant figures but let me just show the examiner what I got in on the calculator I got 12063.7 and so on to three significant figures it will be 121 zero zero and I will write here three significant figures okay to make it look perfect and those were your five marks if you have learned something new from this video make sure you make sure to like it okay thank you